Hey everybody, how's it going today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day today. Today I want to talk about prayer is an action word. Today I want to talk about prayer is an action word. I'm going to take my time here to allow God to give me the words to say in this video to edify the body of Christ as most I can. Now let me uh, say, when you think about praying, most people treat the word praying so lightly, if you see what I mean. See, like on social media sometimes when people say, I'm praying, but are they really praying, though? And so, I mean, it's easy to comment and say, hey, I'm praying for you. Hey, I'm praying for you, but you never do it. And so, I mean, not saying with everybody, but majority of people, though, some people say, yeah, I'm praying for you, but they never do. See, when you think about what praying is, you're asking God to give you strength to do what you need to do whatever it is you're faced with or if it's a healing or whatever it is when you pray and you're putting faith in god you know what i mean see most people don't understand without faith it's impossible to please god okay because you got to put your faith in that prayer it's not something that you just throw up you see what i'm saying it's not something you just say just be saying it you see what i mean that's how some people say no i'm praying for a better year the question is, who's stopping you from having a better year? That's the question. You can pray for a better year all year round, but what are you doing in the meantime to get a better year? You see what I'm saying? Say so this some people say, I want to be delivered from this. I want to be delivered from that. God deliver me from this. But are you willing to be delivered from whatever you're talking about? You see what I mean? See, that's one thing I, that, that's one thing that people got to understand when it comes to praying. So, I mean, and let me have made this point too while I'm over here. You got to be careful with who you ask to pray for you because not everybody's praying well over your life, okay? Not everybody's speaking well over to your life. Some people could be praying word curses upon your life. You got to be careful about who you allow to pray for you, okay? Because just because somebody says I'm praying for you don't mean they're praying well over you. See, one thing, too, what people don't understand is sometimes what I have noticed when they say I'm praying, but they never put any acts for it into it. Let me uh, make this uh, example. I hope this video is making sense here. Uh, let's say, for example, you know like how some people say, I'm praying that you find a friend. Okay, what's wrong with you being a friend? How do you know whether or not that God didn't place you on that person's path to be their friend? So, I mean, instead of saying... Oh, I'm praying you find a friend. Oh, I'm praying you find a friend. Who's stopping you from being that person's friend? You saw I'm saying. See, when you have spirit of discernment, you know that person's really who to say they are. You know that person's really legit. What's stopping you from being that person's friend? And you saw me. Because you could be their only resource. Let's uh, take it to this other, uh, you know, example over here. Okay, you have uh, more than enough food or more than enough to uh, help somebody in need. And you have plenty. Okay, you'd be like sitting there saying, Oh, I'm praying somebody help you out, or I'm praying somebody feeds you. You got more than enough food in your cabinet, and you got more means to help somebody out. If you see what I mean, see, most people also, let me just say this some people think they, they're tithing, and it's just money that's limited to money, but there's many ways you can be a blessing to somebody besides just tithing, too. You see what I'm saying? See, when you think about, you know, the word praying, you see faith behind that prayer. So I mean, because you're asking God to lead, God to direct you, and allow God to use you in many ways. You see what I mean? Because if you don't allow God to use you in many ways, and you're not a will of vessel, then I mean, you're not going to be used by the Most High Eye. So I mean, you got to be, you know, mindful of that, okay? Because when you when you talk about what prayer is, what prayer is about, is how much faith do you have in that prayer, though? You can sit there and pray for a burger to fall into your lap out of the sky, but that's not going to work, okay? It's like you can pray for some friends to come uh, to your house. You're praying that God gives some friends. You got to go out there and, you know, find, way, what, excuse me, find ways to uh, make that happen and make that possible, okay? Because I can say that anybody will come knocking on your front door and say, hey, you want to be a friend? Right up through social media or in school, college, work, wherever you may be gathering up in, in person, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's no this is what God could use. I could be praying for a spouse, for example. I mean, God could use social media or use some, some people in person, or you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying here because 
When you think about praying, I mean, see, most people, you know, it's, it's they just state that, oh, okay, just all I got to do is sit around and pray, which is a wonderful thing, not knocking on, okay? But then you wonder why some people make a joke about, oh, praying is just a nice way of saying I'm not going to do nothing. It's so my point. All right, let me take it to me, for example. I was born all the way blind, right? That's what we'll close with this. I want to make a point. I just want to drive the ballpark home. I was born, born all the way blind, right? See, my parents uh, saw a pastor on TV, and he was talking about the healing power of God in prayer. See, my parents could have prayed, for example, but if they didn't have that faith, do you think I'd be looking into that uh, camera right there? Do they think I'll be seeing that picture behind me there that I hung on the wall? Do they think I'll be seeing that uh, dress right there I put there? Say my point. Do I mean, do you think I'll be seeing this, uh, you know, room, at my video room here where I've organized and fixed it up? Do you think I'll be seeing any of that? So, I mean, see, that's, where, that's the point I make. See, if they didn't have the faith, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. I wouldn't be seeing nothing. Because I was born always blind and wasn't supposed to see or do anything. Basically be a vegetable. At six months old, I received my sight. So I mean. I mean, the doctor said there was no hope for this baby. And, and it's all in the higher power's hand, whether or not he gets a sight or not. You see what I'm saying? Don't have perfect eyes, but I praise God I have enough to do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say. See, when you put faith in prayer and you step out on faith, that's when your prayers become an action word, not just something you just sit around and decide like you throw opinions in the wishing well, okay? You got to be for real and legit with your prayers, okay? You just came to be that side saying, oh, I'm going to be praying for you. Oh, I'm going to be praying for you and not mean it. So, I mean, you got to have faith in order to move from point A to point B. You got to have that faith, that mustard seed faith that grows more bigger than an oak tree. See, most people get stuck on just a little bit of Jesus. Oh, I just need a little bit of faith. <laughs> but then your faith goes out the window as soon as your car will start in the morning. And you say, oh, the devil done this, or the devil done that, the devil run me better down. No, you forgot to turn in the switch off, you left the radio running all night long. So I say it here. Because sometimes some people actually do let their vehicles on at night time, not meaning to. Especially like with some of these newer vehicles they don't and they don't have a timer and it turns off. After thirty minutes, then your switch is on. Next thing you know, you have a dead battery in the morning. We try to go to work. <laughs> it's still what I'm saying, but like I say, you gotta have strong faith in order to go through life. You just can't just say, oh, I'm just praying, just praying and praying, not meaning it. When you do that, that's when the enemy will get a hold of you the most, okay? Say, so when you put that shield of faith and buckle around you, and you allow God to keep that there, and you're praying and believing and, 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 and interceding for whoever you're praying for, whatever you're praying for, that's when you see things move. You might not see it move right then, but if you hold fast to stand fast, fast on that prayer faith then you'll see the hand of God move you know what I mean because like this I mean <laughs> most Christians think that we're living in a microwave you just you know one second you got it you know what I'm saying you know lots of, lots of people think they're going to do a night four course meal in a microwave and expect to have a good supper you know what I'm saying it's good as home cook you know what I'm saying but it's in a microwave not knocking knock microwave food but I'm just making a point here making an analogy but when you have patience, that's the most wonderful thing. Whatever your, whatever your season is in life, I mean, that's how you grow. That's when you learn to appreciate the most simplest things in life. You saw I mean? Because most people just think that, <clears throat> you know, you just go get everything at snap of the finger. But sometimes it takes a whole lot of faith and hard work and dedication to get to where you, where you are now. Because like I say, most people they get an easy testimony. They got they got the uh, hard test back in the day that gave them a testimony that they have today. It was for a hard test, they wouldn't have a testimony. You can't have a testimony without a test. So I'll say you take the word test, you just have only. So I'll say 
you can't have a testimony without a test. You just have only. So I'll get that here because, like I say, most of the people's hard struggles in life, most people's uh, testimonies in life, the mess they've been through in their past has became the powerful message to a hard lesson learned in their past. Some people, you know, they just went through a hard test to get a powerful testimony in life. You see what I'm saying? But it just all depends on you and your faith for God, okay? It just depends on you with your faith and your prayers. That's what I mean because, I mean, like I say, you just don't want to just throw prayers around, just uh, throw a vain prayers around you know what i'm saying you got to mean it from your heart you got to mean it with god you got to be for real because when you pray a step out on faith and allow god to take control of whatever your situation is that's when you move forward you know to the next level though it may look hard but at least uh, you can't look back on life and say i mean at least you won't look back on life i should say and say that um you know you didn't try you know what i'm saying but at least you can say that at least i tried it you know what i'm saying because a lot of successful people started out with a simple faith prayer, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of uh, you know, successful people have, you know, started out on their career with a little bit of faith, but what not a little bit of faith, sorry about that, y'all. You know, I make mistakes in my videos, I correct myself, but that's no big deal. But anyway, you know, I mean, most successful people in, in, in their life, I mean, they, they uh, started out their careers with a strong faith, you know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to pray things, but where's your faith at? You saw what I'm saying? Just like we tell us about all praying for friends, all praying for friends. I mean, what's stopping you from being a friend if you're the solution that they have? You see what I mean? Because you could be the solution to their answer prayer, you saw what I mean? Just like if you got extra food or whatever it is you need, don't need anymore, you don't use anymore. I mean, you could be a blessing to somebody, you saw I me, mean? because like I say, you never know. God may place you on somebody's path to be a blessing on, in somebody's life, and it could be a turnaround for them. So that's why I say, any way that you want to be used by God, that's the most wonderful thing, because you could be a blessing to somebody and influencer to somebody and encourager to somebody who's going through hardships and struggles in life, because like I say, all it takes is will and vessel and dedication. So, I mean, because when you think about the power of prayer, what prayer is all about, it's not just those little cute bedtime things you say at nighttime. It's about your faith in the Most High God, the Creator who knows how to fix things and your solution to your problems. Most people want to find a resolution, but God is the best resolution you could ever get because most people waste their year praying for a better year, but they're not trying to do a thing to make themselves better. So I'll leave y'all with that. I hope and pray that this uh, video is helpful and edifying. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to leave in, leave in the comment section, feel free to leave that. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. I hope and pray y'all will have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank y'all for watching. God bless.